Hey, what's up, everybody? Guy Jane Giddy Peak here, and uh, yeah, I look like I just woke up, right? Because I did. Yeah, I was trying to stay up late for the premiere uh, for this Bring Me the Horizon top ten statues that cried blood, but the premiere was one a.m. Japan time, and I just could not hang. But I'm doing it first thing here in the morning before class. Uh, not the first time that's happened either. Now I have to say. Top 10 Statues That Cried Blood is easily one of my top tracks from Post Human Next Gen. Uh, between this album and Knocked Loose's new album, I mean, it's really just me going back and forth between those two albums uh, lately. I love them both. Before I get into the reaction for this, I'll give my thoughts on the album as a whole. First of all, I love it as a whole, actually. Um, looking at the track listing here. I don't know if they stated this publicly, but to me, it feels like they intentionally tried to put their own spin on various types of rock music. That's how it feels, like, especially the opener Utopia feels like a 90s alternative, almost grunge rock song. I grew up in the 90s, so it sounds like something I would have heard on the radio then, but they put their own spin on it. Bring Me the Horizon has a very unique production sound and it's like they just splash their color all over a tried and true sound and make it their own. Anyway, I love Utopia. It's a fantastic opener. Really great vocals on that. Um, Kool-Aid, of course, just a straight up heavy banger. Captain Statues, it's like lost in the sense where it's just them putting their production touches, their unique spin on a pop punk song, which, hello, that goes directly to everything that I love. Limousine, everyone says it's very Deftones. It is very Deftones. And again, I feel like it's them putting their spin on that sound. It's a really great song. It's kind of a sexy song, actually. Um, and it just goes hard at the end, too. Yeah, I love it. Dark Side, it's one of my least favorite tracks on the album, which sort of pains me to say because I love Pale Dusk and uh, Homeboy from Pale Dusk helped produce it. And I don't know, it just kind of feels like one of the more safer tracks. I don't know, it just kind of feels, it's just there. Bullet With My Name On, it's an under oath song and they know it. It's like, it's very tongue in cheek. They're in on the joke. Bring Me the Horizon said, let's make an Under Oath song, but guess what? We're going to put Under Oath on it, and that's what they did. It's only ch We're only chasing safety. Okay, there's another song. As a guy who grew up listening to Under Oath, they nailed it. Uh, and But boy, those lyrics. Spencer, what a 180. N.A., totally unexpected sound, but again, they managed to take like this acoustic sing-along song, put their own spin on it, throw some gang vocals in there, still some heavy screams. It feels quite unique, it feels different. Um, I like it. Lost, I don't have to say much. Fantastic track, absolutely love it. It's it's my sound. Pop punk, but heavy. Strangers, another really great song. R.I.P. This is where the glitch core and the heavy power pop stuff comes into play and uh, I think it's really catchy as well. It's got insane hooks. It's got just enough heavy in it to keep me interested. Um, it's one of the more popular of the pop punk songs, but again, I like it. Die For You, one of the older singles that they put on here. And again, like Dark Side, one of my least favorite tracks on there. I just never really got into the whole yodeling vocal effect that Ollie does in it. Uh, yeah, just not not for me. Uh, and Dig It is easily one of their most emotional songs. Fantastic. Super, super heavy, both sort of in emotional content and the way that he sings. And it's a, it's a great closer. Anyway, all right, that was my quick little rundown. I'm loving this album a lot. Uh, I'm so glad that they made an official video for one of my favorite tracks on it. Let me shut the hell up get into it thumbnail giving dune vibes even though i've never seen dune some near automata options Ah, 
Ah, that riff gets me hyped every time. I should have warned you. I'll be singing along. Influences in this video are crazy. Like Tron bikes and Star Wars lightsaber battles and little near automata. Zoom. Can you take that outside? Ah, that's sick. The half robotic face. Very cool. What's this? Yeah, I didn't really get a good look at the robotic features until the end of the song. Oh, I can breathe the air, baby. There you have it. Bring me the horizon. Top 10 statues that cried blood. An absolute banger of a track. It is just so catchy. I have yet to get sick of it. I don't see that happening for some time. Uh, the video was like every future sci-fi reference that you can imagine sort of thrown into one. What, what kind of concert is that? We're trying to listen to some music. Some people are having a lightsaber battle. There's a bike whipping around. Uh, what a hazard. What an absolute danger. Uh, really cool, the, the effects on the actual band members too, um, which I didn't catch until like the very end. Before I just thought it was like makeup or some sort of design. But at the end you realize it's like Terminator and they got the exoskeletons and stuff. Really cool effects, budget went crazy. Oh, what can I say? I just absolutely love this song. It's off a fantastic album. The production is, at this point, what makes Bring Me the Horizon in their own lane. Nobody's even, nobody's even playing ball with them. Like, this is just a unique sound that they have, and uh, I really appreciate it. In the world of heavy music, that I, I feel like they almost stand alone. But what did you guys think? Bring me the rise and post human next gen. Let me know your thoughts on the album. Let me know your thoughts on uh, top 10 statues. Of course, I would love to hear from you. But as always, thank you so much for helping my small channel grow. Thank you for watching this video, and I will catch you in the next one.